Back to Capitol Hill, where both the House and Senate are now proposing solutions just two days before the debt ceiling deadline, with the government partially shut down for the 15th day. The media has been covering it all. Has the coverage been fair? Joining us, a longtime journalist, Cal Tom Thomas, syndicated columnist and a Fox News contributor. What do you think so far, Cal? Well, John, you know, the incendiary rhetoric being used is uh, amazes even a veteran journalist, as you say, like me. We're hearing phrases from people like Brian Todd of CNN and even Bob Schieffer of CBS News uh, that speak of uh, jihad and explosive vests and the suicide caucus. Uh, th this is uh, ridiculous. The other thing that we're hearing is that once a law is passed by Democrats, it has uh, the equivalent of eternal life. Uh, Bob Schieffer suggested that on Face the Nation. This you're talking past about Sunday. you're, you're talking Talking about referring to Obamacare and the fact that uh, Republicans were so upset about it, and and the answer from the other side is that it is That's settled right. law. That's right. And if that if that were the premise, uh, then we'd still have prohibition. You wouldn't be able to get an alcoholic drink at a bar. Uh, we'd still have separate but equal. We might even have slavery. Uh, African Americans would be uh, using separate water fountains and different restrooms. So this idea that if a liberal uh, passes a law and a liberal president signs it, that it should go on forever and not be uh, not be changed is ludicrous. But this is the way the media is covering this, making the Tea Party people, conservative and principled Republicans, the enemies of the United States. Let me uh, play for you just a, a clip of the sound from the Speaker of the House's news conference just now. The first question out of the box I thought was kind of interesting. Let's play that and get your reaction. Mr. Speaker, the changes in your bill to the president's health care law are arguably pretty minor. Were they worth a two week government shutdown? Listen, we're working with our members uh, on our way forward and to make sure that we provide fairness to the American people. The question, if you weren't able to hear it, uh, she basically said the changes that are being proposed now to the president's health care law are quite minor. Was it worth uh, the two week shutdown of the government, which actually is now in its 15th day? Right. The, well, your reaction to that question, first of all. Well, there's a presumption in all of the questions, and this has been going on not just for weeks, but every time uh, Republicans uh, control any branch of government. How can you stand in the way of Democrats? Democrats are noble and righteous. They want to do the, only the good things for people, and you mean-spirited jihadist Republicans who are also racist, sexist, and homophobes, that's another underlying uh, theme that runs through all of this, are just standing in the way of progress in America. Let me give you an example as a reporter before or a commentator many years on how the reporting would go on the other side. This is Cal Thomas in Washington, where principled Republicans are standing against uh, efforts by liberal Democrats to spend this nation into oblivion and to go outside of the constitutional bounds set for the government. That's the flip side of how that reporting would go, John. But you've written a book on, well, and part of the title is how, how the partisan, uh, yeah. how to stop the partisan war that is destroying America. I mean, both parties are guilty of some of this, aren't they? Well, they are, of course, yes. And Bob Beckel and I wrote this book together, and we got another column coming up Thursday in USA Today. I think one of the breakdown pro problems in Washington is that nobody knows each other anymore. We're all defined by labels, Le left and right, uh, Republican, uh, Democrat, and nobody takes the time to build personal relationships. That's one of the uh, destructive things that I've seen uh, in my years in journalism in this town. People don't take time to get to know each other. They get on TV. They repeat the same old sound bites we've heard over and over and over again, and nothing gets accomplished. And the reason for that is that the uh, various interest groups who supply the money uh, to both sides want it one way and one way only. Compromise now is viewed as the language of the devil. And if you compromise, you can even be called the devil. Well, and the president has said he wouldn't compromise on, on any of this legislation. Yeah. Well, you know, the president, of course, uh, when he was in the Senate, uh, said that uh, voting to raise the debt, debt ceiling, which he voted against when he was a senator, is an indication of the failure of leadership. Well, what is it now that he is in charge? Is it a failure of his leadership because he wants the debt limit raised? We don't see these clips paid on, played on the major networks, and the major newspapers uh, have totally forgotten them. All right. Cal Thomas, a syndicated columnist and a Fox News contributor. Good to have you on, Cal. Thank you. Thank you, John. Good to see you.